Well, this year I, I feel like he's a different player. Um, where he's, I think he's taken it upon himself a little bit to make sure he plays the right way every game. And for the most part this year, we've we've seen that where he's been competitive. Um, he's led our team offensively, and and he's been one of our more consistent players on a night in night out basis. So, to see him get him to that 900 game level is a pretty cool thing. And I would bet it's a interesting trip down memory lane for him, um, with how he came into the league as kind of that on the edge, you know, <laughs> people used to talk a lot about CADs and a little bit like we talk about POSP now. Yeah. And then over the years, you grow and mature and he's turned himself into a, a real complete player. So we're, we're fortunate to have him on our team. And he talks a lot about, um, you know, just, I mean, obviously the leading scorer on the team and, and just how much pride he takes in the point production to be a reliable offensive player too. Do you see that? Do you see that pride there about you know, trying to contribute on a nightly basis like that too. Yeah, and I, I think for me though, he, he's done that this year. Um, but more importantly, is he's not really cheating the game. Um, where he, we've been able to lean on him in a lot of different situations, from faceoffs in his own zone to trusting him against top players, um, that matters to Naz. And when a game's on the line, he wants to be on the ice in whatever situation that is, whether it's us needing a goal or, or defending a lead. He wants to be in those situations. So it's he's a, a great person for our younger players to be around to see how competitive he he can be in in all those different situations. He's a guy who still has plenty of good years left, but he was talking about already thinking about his legacy and being a champion, wanting to become a champion again, helping guys like Zar and Paws. I'm imagining as a coach, you love to hear guys that are thinking that far down the road about what they can leave behind while still elevating their game at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go there for him. I mean, this is a special night, so of course he's going to think about um, where he's been and where he is right now. I, you know, I, I feel like he's got tons of hockey left, so I, I, I don't even know if I would go to that point with him about legacy and stuff like that yet, because like he's got years ahead of him. But um, the one thing we have liked, we've talked a lot about Naz this year, is his, his willingness and his ability to bring some younger players along and do it the right way, where sometimes it's a pat, sometimes it's a kick, sometimes it's a hug. But I think he's really helped those two younger guys that you mentioned become NHL players. and. Um, it's it's nice to see that from Naz and his leadership ability. You touched on competitiveness last night against the Kings, and you've got a team on the other side that's got a lot to play for tonight. Silverberg's last home game of his career, so I'm assuming you're expecting a, a pretty hungry opponent on the other side again tonight. Well, again, it, this is about us. For two periods last night, we were no good, so I put it in the terrible category. And then the third period, we got uh, a little bit more competitive, and we got some pace in our game. So we have to do that for 60 minutes. Um, so whether we're on the road, our opponent, no matter who it is, this is about our team and making sure we're committed to doing it the right way and showing your teammates that you care and you're going you're gonna to play and execute our game, pl game plan the way it needs to be taken care of. And when you say competitiveness, I mean, instantly you think about, you know, being physical and engaging like that, but, but it probably means a little bit more in terms of that competitiveness and what you want to see in the early part. Yeah, and this is a back-to-back a -back situation for us, and, and we haven't fared well in the second games of back-to-backs this year. So this is our last opportunity to prove to ourselves that, hey, we can grab hold of the mental side of the game and we can be at our best tonight. So I'm looking forward to seeing what our players are going to come out like tonight. I think we're going to see a real good effort.